Hey there, everybody. It's me, Jason the Cartoon Fan. You may have noticed that the background for this particular video is a little bit different than the background used for most of my other merchandise videos. And that's because I'm filming this particular video in a different location than usual. On Sunday... August 8th, I left California to visit my mom over in Oregon. Yes, I've talked about her multiple times in many of my previous videos, but I think this is the first time in, geez, I, I think, has it been two years already? Yeah, I think it's been over two years since the last time I visited mom, and I do remember making a few videos while I was visiting her last time around. So yeah, I'm visiting her again, and I'm filming this particular video in her room because the room that I'm sleeping in is the living room, which isn't really a good location to film these kinds of videos at. In the previous years, I've been making videos for YouTube, I would usually do a video announcing that I would be going over to Oregon to visit mom a couple of days or at the latest one day before actually going there. But I got a little bit busy with other things this time around so I wasn't able to make such a video like I normally do in the days leading up to me going over to visit mom in Oregon. I apologize for not doing so, and I know that there are some people who were wondering where the heck I've been for the past couple of days due to the fact that I haven't made any video announcing where I was or what, where I was planning to go. But, you know, better late than never, I'm here. Alrighty, so now you know why I'm in this particular area right now. So, what is this video about? For those of you who didn't read the title before clicking on it. Well, let me show you. Ta-da! It's a brand new t-shirt I got, but it isn't any ordinary new t-shirt. Oh boy, no it isn't. This t-shirt is a custom-made one featuring original artwork drawn for me by my good recent YouTube compadre, DJ No Parking Barry. I've talked about him quite a few times on this channel. But unlike the Amphibia sweater he designed for me, which was from a third-party website known as TeePublic, this t-shirt was released on his own online store, Smiley Comforts, specializing in t-shirts and sweaters featuring his amazing pieces of artwork, both completely original and fan art. And as you can see, the doodle is of the crossover that nobody asked for but I'm happy we get that we got, even if it's not an official crossover. Does anybody remember a little semi-obscure cartoon that premiered new episodes on Nickelodeon? You may have heard of it. It's called Tough Puppy. It's from the guy who created your childhood, Butch Hardman. Oh, oh no, no. Uh, um, we maybe we shouldn't talk about that right now. But you know. He's the one who created the show, so I figured I may as well bring it up anyways. But yeah, I know that this is somewhat of a hot take, 
since most people find the show to be just average. But I personally think that Tough Puppy is on par with Butch Hardman's previous two shows, The Fairly Odd Parents, though only its first eight seasons, and Danny Phantom as the fifth greatest Nicktoon of all time. They're tied behind just Spongebob, Rugrats, The Loud House, and Hey Arnold on my top five list. I also think it's one of the four most underrated Nicktoons of all time. Definitely lower on that list than As Told by Ginger and Chalk Zone, but I'm not quite sure whether or not I put it in front of or behind the Mighty Bee in that regard. So, you can see right next to Dudley Puppy from Tough Puppy is Snoopy from Peanuts. You can see that Dudley Puppy is dressed up in Snoopy's War War One Flying Apes outfit, riding his doghouse pretending to be a flying ape. And as you can see, Snoopy is not happy that someone has basically hijacked his plane. <laughs> Yeah, it's an epic mashup right here. It's a pretty funny image. I'm so glad that Barry decided to make this, like, draw this, because I wouldn't have thought of such a genius mashup if he hadn't done this image. Or maybe I would have, but it would have taken a lot longer. So, yeah. Pretty nice image. It's in a pretty high quality. The sticker is still on here because I haven't worn the shirt yet. And there is the Smiley Comforts logo right over here. Yep, this is a genuine DJ Barry t-shirt. I told you he was a talented artist before. I have n absolutely no complaints whatsoever about this shirt. It really is a cool mashup of my favorite newspaper comic strip. Um, well, maybe my... Well, it's definitely one of the top two. I can't decide if I like Peanuts or Garfield more. And one of my favorite, more underrated Nicktoons. If you want to get your own version of the shirt or one of the many other really awesome t-shirts and sweaters that Barry designed, make sure to check out Smiley Comforts by clicking on the link in the description. Speaking of Nicktoons, Happy Nicktoons Anniversary Day! The original three Nicktoons, Doug, Rugrats, and The Ren and Stimpy Show, all premiered back to back exactly 30 years ago on August 11th, 1991. In honor of the celebration, on Friday, August 20th, I'm doing a special live stream all about Nickelodeon with not just Barry, but also his usual live stream cohort, Zara Lobner, and my own extra YouTube buddy serving as a guest star, Ryan's Treasures. Well, whether or not Ryan is going to be in the live stream is still up in the air, since I haven't checked with him about whether or not he has Skype, which is the app that we all need to have in order to make the live stream possible. But definitely, Barry and Zara are going to be in there. Um... Uh, it's going to be on his channel since I still don't have the technology to do all those fancy live streams yet. And basically, we're just going to talk about Nickelodeon. What we think of their shows. It, we're going to talk about s some of the more shady things that the channel has done. And, you know, just talk about what we like and what we didn't like from the channel, both in the past and now. 
I really hope that Ryan will be there since he has a much better understanding of how Nickelodeon is doing right now than the rest of us since he's the only one of us four who actually still has Nickelodeon at home. The rest of us don't have actual cable, I don't think. Or if we if we do, then it probably doesn't have Nickelodeon. I know I don't have Nickelodeon, but Barry and Zara both live in Canada, so I'm not sure what their situation is. I know that there is a Nickelodeon in Canada, but I don't think it has all the same programming and whatnot. So yeah, Ryan is the most up-to-date out of all of us in regards to how Nickelodeon is doing right now. So I really hope he can be in this live stream with us. But, you know, if he doesn't, then there's still three people you can listen to as we talk about Nickelodeon. So, we were originally going to do the live stream on the actual anniversary date, but we had to postpone the day we'd be doing the live stream on after m my mom purchased tickets for me to be able to visit her since August 11th is her birthday and I want to not be busy with other stuff on that day. Why am I bringing up this live stream here and now? Well, it's because we want you to give us questions and prompts to use for the live stream. Basically, if you have a question about Nickelodeon that you want us to answer, whether it's a positive or negative quality that the channel has. Oh boy, does Nickelodeon have a lot of negative qualities nowadays. But I want to keep the live stream as balanced between having positive and negative stuff about the channel as possible, I guess. And it also, if you want to ask us anything in particular about maybe a character from a show, like which character do we like the most? Well, actually, I, I already came up with the question of which Nickelodeon character is your favorite when we were first coming up with ideas for the live stream. So we can't do, you, you don't, we, we can't, you can't submit that one because we already have it. But, you know, Anything else? Anything else at all about the channel? If there's anything about Nickelodeon that you want us to talk about, fire away in the comments section. I will get all of those questions from you, and I will let my guest, I will let the other people in the live stream know about those extra questions. And, you know, they don't have to be questions. It could be prompts, like, discuss this aspect about Nickelodeon. It doesn't... Our, the material doesn't necessarily have to be in the form of a question. But, yeah, anything about Nickelodeon, if there's anything you want us to talk about, tell us by commenting below, and I will let the others know about those extra questions. Uh, Barry actually did a post for his community tab uh, about the live stream, and we've gotten a couple of extra questions there, but, you know, the more topics to talk about, the better, so let us know by commenting below. Alrighty then. Until next time, this is Jason the Cartoon Fan wearing my awesome new shirt. Thank you so much for making me an ambassador, Barry. I will definitely make sure to make similar videos or at least continue to promote your Smiley Comforts website in more of my upcoming videos whenever you end up sending more merchandise for me to talk about. Alrighty. It's me, Jason the Cartoon Fan, signing off. <laughs>